Welcome to another exciting day of Chamber Talk, the Antelope Valley Chambers of Commerce podcast. We're here uh, today in our studio of Lighthouse Studios um, with our, our technician, Boudica, who's the owner of Lighthouse Studios. And my guest today for Chamber Talk is Tammy Jackson with More Core Pilates Antelope Valley. I got to make sure I get it all in at one time. Tammy, welcome to the show. We're glad to have you here today. Thank you. Absolutely. So, Let's just start off with a little bit of your background, uh, more, more core Pilates. Uh, you know, obviously you must be a fitness person here and, and, uh, and, and the healthy lifestyles. So let's talk about how did you get into Pilates and what made you want to open up a studio? Well, uh, it actually goes back 20 ish years ago. I have been teaching yoga for over 20 years. Um, and I used to have my own little studio back in Indiana. And, um, yeah, so, uh, I've been teaching some type of fitness for over 20 years. My whole family is very fitness oriented. Um, uh, my sister, they all do Ironmans. I'm not that crazy. (laughs) I do the other side (laughs) of the fitness spectrum. Um, but, uh, so I was teaching yoga, doing yoga very religiously every day. Um, and I started feeling some pain in my back and my hip. Um, and I thought I was very fit. I thought I was doing the right thing. Um, but I started going to a chiropractor. They took some x-rays, found out that I had torn a ligament in my hip. Ouch. And so (laughs) that was causing pain in my back. So they recommended Pilates. Hmm. And at the time I was like, oh no, I'm not doing that. It's too hard, too hard. Um, and so eventually found a Pilates class, found a teacher that connected with, and within about four months, I didn't need surgery. I had no more back pain. I had no more issues. And that was over six years ago. Wow. So I said, I need to share this with the world. So I became certified in um, Pilates instruction and um, haven't had back pain since either. Wow, that's incredible. So it, it, I'm a true believer of Pilates and how it just works the whole body. That's amazing. That's yeah. a, that's a, that's a great story and yeah. great intro. So when you say Pilates, um, I'm kind of old school kind of guy. I, you know, I get my workout by, by walking my dog and doing <laughs> some free weight training. What is Pilates? So Pilates, everybody thinks of Pilates as just working your core. And then they think, okay, the core is just your stomach. But the core goes deeper than that. Um, basically, I tell people it's from your knees to your shoulders. <laughs> okay. So you're working everything in between. And um, depending if you're doing a mat Pilates class, so you're just, you don't need any weights, you're just doing body weight, or you're doing um, a reformer workout, which is what I actually teach on. We'll get into that later. But um, it, it just works the whole body and the whole skeletal system, making you longer and stronger and leaner. <laughs> I can be longer? Yep. I I, I've actually had a student come to me and tell me she went to her doctor's office and they said, you know, her yearly checkup and they right. have to check the height. And they, they said, well, she says, well, I'm, you know, I'm five foot, five, three and a quarter. Well, we got to measure you. So she had actually grown three quarters of an inch. Wow. And she's an adult. So just, it was just, it the was spinal cord just, just by me elongating them, her right? and decompressing her. Exactly. Oh, yeah. That is cool. Yeah. That's and you just, you feel taller and longer when you, you're done with it as well. Right. Helps yeah. your posture, helps your, your posture, your, your shoulders back mm-hmm. and all that yeah. stuff. And it makes you realize what muscles you're using. And incorporates, like, say you want to do weight training or walking or something. While you're weight training and while you're walking, you're thinking about, oh, yeah, I need to do this or I need to pull in my belly button or my shoulders are back and down. You know, you, you start thinking about those muscles while you're doing other things. Oh, that's, that's really neat. So <laughs> thinking about, so, of course, like I said, <clears throat> I'm the uneducated one here. Maybe some of our audience members join me in this. What's the difference between like Pilates and yoga? Okay, so yoga is more focused on stretching, um, more uh, focused on um, the mind, body, and stretching. There is definitely types of yoga where it goes into the strength training and that kind of thing. But when you think of yoga, it's more of a relaxation, right? You're you're trying to focus inward. Um, Pilates is still mind, body, but in the fact of, 
my mind has to figure out how to move this leg <laughs> over here. And so that's, it's, it's like trying to coordinate the breath with the movement, with the abs, because it's a whole hour of whole body workout strength training. But you're also thinking about how your breath is incorporated with it. So. Okay. Okay. Now to get it, to get the full effect, or right, well, we'll, we'll, we'll take it kind of, uh, how much time do you need to do it to really get results? Um, is this something Well, I mean, that- it, it depends on the person that's coming in. You okay. know, you know, if it's a very fit person. What, it, it's interesting because when, when I do get very fit people, like say a triathlete, they're like, well, I'm not going to feel this. <laughs> and so I can make them feel it. <laughs> and as so, uh, you know, a triathlete works specific muscle groups. groups. Muscles, right. Yeah. And so I can find those other muscle groups that they have not worked that makes their triathlon even better, okay. if that makes sense. Okay. Um, and so if somebody comes in with an injury, say they've, oh, I just had knee surgery. Well, I can totally work around that. And um, shoulder surgery. There's so many things that people come in and say, or they have an excuse. So, oh, I can't do that because I hurt my back. Well, so did I, and that's why I started. Right. And that's who, that's really who it's for. Right. And actually, how to strengthen your back muscles to <laughs> yeah accommodate to, the injury. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't even bend over. I couldn't. I could not put the dishes in the dishwasher. Er, in the dishwasher. That's, that's how bad I was. <laughs> right. But for an average person, that's probably we'll just say thirty pounds overweight. <laughs> That's the average person. Well, that's not even that, probably more than that. But we'll just say the average person that's 30 weight, 30 pounds overweight, hasn't worked out in, you know, 10 years or, or you know. Yeah. What, what's it going to take? How much time is it going to take to get them back into a, into a healthier? Well, I always recommend two or three times a week for somebody okay. who is starting out. If this is going to be their only exercise, three times a week would be perfect. Mm -hmm. Um, there's so many different types. I can get your heart rate up. I can keep it down. I can uh, just work on certain parts of the body. If you are, um, wanting to lose weight, I can even talk to you about nutrition. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you, now when you do your Pilates, do you know, like, like in, when, when, when people are doing like strength training, they'll work their upper body. They'll work their core one day. They'll work their legs one day. Yeah. They, they, do, they do muscle groups of right. training. They don't train everything on Monday. They just train these two groups of muscles on Monday, right. these two groups on Tuesday. Pilates the same way or is um, it kind of? It, it can what, what, be. What do you um, recommend? I mean, what do you see? For me, I, I like to do the whole body. Get it done with. All day. The whole hour, you're going to do so much resistance training. You don't want to do an hour of arms <laughs> I don't want to do an hour of anything, but <laughs> so I, I like to incorporate the whole body. It kind of is a flow. You go from your legs and then we do some arms and then we do some abs and then we do some whatever. And, you know, it just, it just kind of depends on the client and who's there. So an average class is about an hour long, about an hour long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then for the next two days, you can't move a muscle and you can't exactly. get out of bed? Exactly, yep. I know, I, know you, I know how you trainers work. You know, I've been there, done that. That's cool. Yes, exactly. So talking about your studio, yep. you have your own studio at your house, right? Yeah, it's you're, in you're, my house. You're, yeah. You're, you're truly a home-based business. Yes. Tell me about it. What, what's it? What's it? I mean, describe your studio for us so we can't see a picture of it, but we can we can – Talk about it and describe what your studio is like. How, how, what's the feeling? What's the vibe? Um, hopefully it's relaxing. Um, my, I have two dogs and so I call them our mascots. They're the studio mascots. Um, and so they have to greet you at the door. They say hello. Um, and they're not small, <laughs> so, but they do give kisses. And so I like to call it pup and Pilates. <laughs> so you kind of get your dog therapy and your physical therapy there all at go. the same time. Um, but yes, so I have five reformers is what I call what they're called. And they're these big giant machines that basically reform your whole body. Um, and you can do a million and two exercises on them. And just depending on the physical 
abilities of the people that I'm working on. So, okay, so you walk in the front door, <laughs> you walk in the front door, and um, my front room is set up, it's a hardwood floor, and I have three reformers in that front room. And then I have kind of another room attached to it, which I have two more reformers in there. So I can have five people. Okay. Yeah. Are you doing, when you do a class, are you doing, is it all five people doing all the same ex yes. exercise mm -hmm. at the, all the same time? Yes. Okay. And um, just to let you know, Pilates teachers don't know how to count. I'm just putting it out there. Just can't let you know, <laughs> none of us can count. Um, and so usually you do about 27 out of when you're only supposed to do 10 reps. <laughs> Five more. So, yeah. I just five did more. five more. Yeah, I didn't see them. Five more. Exactly. That's <laughs> just warning you. Every Pilates instructor is like that. Um, but, yeah, so the way that the reformers work is they're spring-based. So the springs okay. are your weights. So the springs can be heavier or light, depending on the exercise that I'm working on. could be harder or more difficult or less difficult, so just depending on the exercise. So the person, I usually get to know the person before we even start. And so I'll, you know, I can kind of read the body language and that kind of thing. And I can set up the weights accordingly for them. Okay. So everybody's doing the same exercise, but some people might be doing more weights, less weights, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then is it all on the, this machine? The Most of my stuff is on the on machines. The machine? um, I do some technical stuff on the floor. Uh, I do a lot of foam rolling. I don't know if you're familiar with foam rolling, but it's this big giant foam roller and you're literally just foam rolling your body and it's like a deep tissue massage. Right. Um, and a lot of people hate it, but it's so good for you. And so I kind of do that as a little warm up before my classes. And yeah, my kids use it and they, they say it hurts, but it yeah. feels good afterwards. Yeah, it's a good hurt. Actually, it's that's like, about an hour of good hurt during my whole class. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you get the wife and away you go, huh? That's right. <laughs> yes. It's very fun. I try to make it a very relaxing atmosphere. Um, I have music playing depending on, um, like, the type of class I want to do. Like, just before I came here, I taught, it's called a jump class, where it gets your heart rate up, but you're still laying down on the machine. So anyone who has bad knees, who thought they would never do a jump in the world, right. is laying down on my machine, and I have a board where their feet are, and they jump against the board, and the springs are pulling you back in, not okay. gravity. Right, right. So right. when you get airborne, you use your abs, and then you land on your feet, and this increases your heart rate. So that's what I did today, and it's just kind of just a mixture of everything. So that one would be like a cardio class. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, because I know a lot of people have knee injuries mm -hmm. and, and yes. it affects you different ways and different activities that you do. Mm -hmm. um, I know when I, when I, you know, I, like I said, I can walk, you know, a good five miles or more a day without a problem at all, but I can't snow ski without taping my knee up. Right. Right. Different mm -hmm. way of working your, of your knees and your, you know, your joints and that kind of stuff. So. Mm -hmm. See, I, you'd be a perfect candidate for Pilates. I probably would. <laughs> need to lose weight, need to get in better shape. Yeah, there you uh. go. <laughs> Are you, do you do a lot of couples classes or is it yeah. mostly? Yeah, I do a lot of couples classes. Um, I, I do a lot of um, mother-daughter classes. Those are fun. Oh, um, But yeah, I do a lot of uh, husband-wives um, just because so many people have so many injuries that there's no other way for them to work out except doing Pilates. And then they're like, oh, well, now I fixed whatever it was, and now I can go lift my weights or go skiing or whatever. Yeah. Very nice. I like yeah. that. And you, you only do five people in a class? Only five people. So, do, I mean, the main reason because you have five pieces of equipment, is that yes. your, um, your limiting factor there? Well, or? yeah, and to make everybody, um, mine are actually seven feet apart. So social distance as well, because I used to have four of them all in one little room, and I'm like, oh, I can't do that. So, yeah, they're all they're all COVID makes distanced. A, COVID makes a dent in everything we do, yes. doesn't it? Yeah, and, I, and um, sometimes I'll have, like, private families. So they'll just rent out the studio, and I teach them. 
that's really fun too. <laughs> so I have like I sisters bet. and brothers and mothers and dads and and then they all just rent the studio and, and I teach them. So that's really fun too. So do you see more people in their twenties and thirties, thirties and forties? Every age. Old people like me. <laughs> Every age. Every age. Every age. Get a good variety of people that all From are coming in 20, there. Twenty, I have um, actually I have about four women that are sixty nine. Nice. Um, uh, just all ages, all ages. Nineteen, it, it they all love it. <laughs> so, I know with 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 trainers and and and, and people that do help other people of fitness. There's sometimes that. They can be, you know, they're, they're, they're very, it depends on their personality, right? Mm-hmm. On, on how they train. Yes. Or I should say, I'll, I'll, I'll turn on this way. How do you motivate? Because it, it's all about motivation, right? Mm-hmm. It's getting them to think long-term yes. health, long-term yes. fitness. Um, not you come in one day and go, I'm not coming back there again. <laughs> and and <laughs> so you have to be tough to give them a good workout because you can't right. sit there and say, do one right. push up and well, I don't want you to hurt yourself. Yeah. So just do one. You can stop and go yep. home. Exactly. You got to be, you got to sit there and motivate them to, to, to push their body mm-hmm. and at the same time, motivate them to make sure that they come back in a couple Again. days. Yes. So what's your style? What, 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 how do you motivate people? Um, do people love you. Do they hate you? <laughs> of course they love me. <laughs> of course. Um, the, the, the main thing is the reformer. The you come in you come in it's a meme that I have on my Facebook page but you you it's people walk in and they you know their shoulders are forward that looks like they've been texting for three hours <laughs> their heads are forward they got the hump on the back of the neck you know and then you walk out of the Pilates studio and you're four feet taller and you're standing up straight and you're happy and and it's it's that afterglow that people come back for. The the feeling that you feel when you're leaving. Maybe not during, but yeah. <laughs> oh. but um it's a it's a love hate relationship with Pilates because it's it's very I don't want to say painful, but it's very minute. Like when you lift weights, you can just grunt and go through it and you're done, right? Right. And Pilates, you really do have to think about what you're doing. You really have to think about, okay, I'm using this muscle. How do I focus on just that one muscle or this muscle group? Mm-hmm. But anyway, that you were asking me about, I seem to tend to drift. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you were asking me, how do I get them to come back? It's that, that feeling they get when they're done. A lot of people want to cancel before they come. And I beg them. I said, just don't cancel. Just, just come, no matter how you're feeling. If you have a headache, if you have um, um, a sore back, you woke up with, cramps, whatever, you know, Mm -hmm. they just are, they just want to cancel because they think it's going to make it worse. Every single person has left feeling better. And that's what they come back for is that afterglow. Nice. Do you, when you're training, do you, I mean, is it a, is it a slow start? Are you asking me if I yell at my clients? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe <laughs> i might it just depends if they need it that, so. that it goes back to that counting part you know yeah i've done fine i've done <laughs> i've done my five you don't know how to count you you might yeah give me five more yeah okay in that case 20 more yeah so it just kind of depends on the client if that's what something they need or if they need to have a calm stretching session or you know yeah, it just kind of depends on the client. So you kind of personalize yeah. it to their yeah. needs and their wants. And, and usually they... when it's a group, they're all egging each other on. Okay. So I don't have to do anything when they're yelling at each other. So. Oh, great. Now we're tossing in peer pressure in this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Because it all looks like they're doing the same thing, but they might be doing it at a different weight mm-hmm. and that kind of thing. So it's, it's, it's very interesting. So... What makes you stand out stand out above the crowd? Why do people enjoy going to you more than they go they, they enjoy going to a fitness center with a thousand people? Well all outside that's your, and 
and socially distant, but no, um, but no, yeah. really. Why, you know, I, I always look at, at, I mean, everybody's unique. Everybody yeah. works a little bit differently. Everybody has something a little bit unique that they share that makes them special. Well, and that's why I like the fact that I can only do five. And so I'm always staring at them. I was joking with my client actually this morning and saying that, you know, I am looking at you, even though it doesn't look like I am, you know, it's, they want to know that they're doing this right Mm -hmm. instead of just grunting along through the workout. And usually that's the people that find Pilates, the person, the perfectionists, the person that wants to know they're doing it right. And they want to be told whether or not it's right. And that's who comes. Right. Yeah. Right. And that's why they're looking for. Right. And they want to see the results. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I am. And do you know the inventor of Pilates is his name is Joseph Pilates. The actual. Back in the early 1900s, 1920s or something like that, I think. Exactly. And it was a man who invented Mm -hmm. it and he used to call it controlology. So he didn't really name it Pilates. It actually his wife named it after uh, he passed, but he was calling it controlology, which is just perfect because you really are controlling your you you want to be in control of your body. So even when you're doing a bench press, you want to be in control of that bench press. Absolutely. <laughs> so absolutely, it's it's definitely a controlology, um, and so the people that find Pilates seem to really want that perfection. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So people interested in more core Pilates, Antelope Valley. Um, I know that you can come to our our the link or the Antelope Valley Chambers of Commerce page at avchambers.org and look up um, fitness, and your name comes up under there. Um, how else can they get a hold of you? I have my Facebook page, um, More Core Pilates AV, okay. uh, is the Facebook page, uh, Instagram, um, and you know my email, phone, and anything. Just te- perfect. <laughs> text, you, call, whatever. You do workouts seven days a week, twenty four hours a day. No, you yes, don't. no, <laughs> no, let's not. No, I'm you, hoping what, too soon. <laughs> what are your studio hours? When, when do people work out? Uh, COVID. So <laughs> I opened literally two weeks before COVID hit. Oh, no. So I don't really know the answer to that question. But um, right now, like I said, I'm doing lots of privates. Lots of So it's just kind of call me, let me know when you, you're available. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're pretty flexible I'm pretty as far flexible. as times yeah. and... and yeah days of the week that mm-hmm. you can do the training yes and uh that's one thing about just having me and this is the only person you're dealing with right yeah right which is which which makes it really nice that you can yeah. accommodate people yes and work with their schedules especially with with covid making a lot of restrictions yes. out there on what you can do and what you can't do exactly so that that's really that's really great i like hearing that yeah um super um one last thing just talking about injuries you can work around injuries, right? Oh, yes. And, and not only work around them, I can sometimes fix them. So hopefully that's what would happen. Um, but, yeah, I can work around any injury that you can imagine. And just because um, shoulder, el- uh, elbow, this is your shoulder. Um, <laughs> it just depends on the injury, and I can work around it. I've had so many injuries, and fixed a lot of stuff just on my own. That's wonderful. Yeah. So I'm here today with Tammy Jackson with More Core Pilates AV or Antelope Valley, um, a small studio here in the Valley that, that helps you get in shape and, and get that healthy lifestyle that we all want. Um, find us on the web at avchambers.org and go to the directory and look under fitness and you can find her or on her Facebook page for More Core Pilates AV. Tammy, I want to thank you for joining us on Chamber thank Talk you. today. It was a great conversation. I learned a lot. So thank you. (laughs) Thank you.